Hello guys, what is up? It is Haroldino H here, back at you again with another video. So in this video we're going to be unboxing or more reviewing the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 wireless noise cancelling headphones and as you can see by the box these are the silver editions. Now it's my birthday yesterday which is the 29th of August and I bought these just a few weeks before especially so I could have them from when I went on holiday in Oxford which I have made a video about so please do watch that, like it and comment on it. Um, these headphones I've already unboxed them obviously and I've lost the original unboxing footage so this is just as close to what I possibly could get. But before I start, obviously these are expensive premium headphones. They retail for £330 or 350 US dollars. I'm not sure about Euros, but you can also check that out on the internet. Um so for this money you get a lot of premium things which I'll show you in the video and I'll also show you how useful these headphones are for that kind of thing. So here we can see unboxing the headphones, obviously like I say these are packaged as close to what I can remember so um, they just slide out from the top, the tab opens up and it says Bose Connect available on the App Store and Google Play which I'll leave links to but only the iOS because I use iOS personally and it also shows you about NFC enabled devices. So push that to the right hand side and the other bit of the box and here we see the actual hard carrying case which at the moment on this clip is storing the headphones and their two wires and the also the airline adapter unfold the carrying case and there lie the headphones which fold away nicely and I'll show you that later on the carrying case just folds open in here in this pocket on the inside I store the wire which has a 2.5mm and a 3.5mm end to make the headphones wired if they run out of battery or if you want to save your battery. And here we have the micro USB cable which I'll um, talk about a bit later because it does have an issue. And here we have the hard carrying case which obviously protects your headphones properly. And this little airline adapter which we'll get into more detail about in a few of the next clips. So here we have the silver Bose QuietComfort 35 headphones in their folding um, place for how they fit in the case. So as you can see they're in a nice silver finish, they're made of glass filled nylon which is the main body. People say it's plastic, it is not, I must stress that it is not plastic, these are premium headphones. Uh, we have a leather lined headline here with Alcantara underneath which is showed there and that's because obviously they're premium headphones Alcantara leather they're premium materials which is what you expect and which I'm pleased that I have that for the money that I've paid for these they were definitely worth every penny and also we have the extendable steel headline bit in the middle there which holds these headphones nicely together which is sturdy and it also allows them to fit any size head and the flex test, which also you must have a look at Jim's review room for the Bose QuietComfort 35 flex test, as he shows just how strong these are. See, the Bose logo has a nice shine up to it there. Some cool microphones for taking phone calls, which I'll bring you into the microphone test a bit later. The noise cancelling microphones, which pull in the noise, create an opposite signal, and play that through to your ears, creating no noise whatsoever, just your music. And the NFC tap point for NFC enabled devices, which is near field communication. You have the headphone port, the micro USB charging port, the volume up, plays, pause, and change track, and the call button as well. And the also volume down, and as you can see, the battery life there and the Bluetooth light. Here we have the very well kind of built, robust charging lead. But Bose, these are £330 headphones, and for that kind of money, the wire needs to be long enough. I mean, I use an Apple adapter, which I plug into my wall, and this wire just is not long enough to reach the ground, only if it's in a laptop. So I'd like to say it be a little bit longer there, but not a massive, massive issue. And also, here we have the long enough wire with a 2.5mm end, and here the 3.5mm end, which is engraved with Bose, so you know which end is which. But this makes it a little bit awkward with all Bose headphones because you can't just use any auxiliary in cable. But it also makes it easier to know that you've got a legitimate Bose cable and that you want and that it makes sure 
that it fits your headphones properly because it's designed specifically for them. But that's not a problem, obviously, because it's got 3.5 millimeter end and it fits almost all devices, unless you have, obviously, an iPhone 7, which is missing its headphone port. But obviously, these are wireless, so that's the good point. And also here we have the airline adapter, which has two prongs, one with one ring, one with two, and that allows you to plug into the plane seat and get sound through both ear cups, and that's controllable. And also you can see the Bose engraving on the wire there. Okay guys, so here we have the Bose QC35 headphones, um, the silver finish, they are really, really nice headphones, as I've already mentioned in this video, um, and I've mentioned about the microphone and stuff, but here I'm going to put them on, and I'm just going to show you how they fit on the head, how comfortable they are, and how they, how they look. They look fairly big on me, because I've got not a massive head, I haven't got an adult's head, but on adults they look in proportion. So let me put them on. Now as we can see down here, they don't, they create a nice tight seal around the head, they fit nicely. They pivot here to give a nice fit. They extend, but I have them fully closed in because that's comfortable. And as you can see on the side here, the off switch is easily reachable. And the switches here, the volume up, pause, play, um, answer call, go forwards and back a track, and this down volume button, they're all easy to access, which is really good because they're not sticking right out the bodywork. You can't see them from here, but as soon as you turn around, you know that the button is exactly there, and especially with things like the microphones and the NFC tap point. The NFC tap point, well, NFC is near field communication. What this allows you to do is this tap point here allows you to tap any NFC enabled device against the headphones or place them near it and they should pop up you should be able to pair them from there and that will lead me on to pairing okay guys so here is the pairing video as you can see here I pull in an iPhone 5s you go into settings you hit Bluetooth and you if you have these headphones stored in which I already do um, as my Bose QC35s they're called they're called Harry's um, you just slide the switch and you'll see that they change to connected and the headphones also announce the battery life and what devices they're connected to. We go to the Bose Connect app, which will load up, and which is where you name them, personalise your headphones to how you want. You can see it says in the bottom the volume, the battery life, um, that it's connected to both my iPad and my iPhone, and there's also other devices that I've connected to. And it can hold two devices connected and eight in total that have been connected before. You can also control the level of noise cancelling, which is a new firmware update. And you can also do music share to other Bose headphones with music share compatibility on the Bose Connect app. And you can also change things like your volume. You can change track through here, but you have to initially play your music from your source, i.e. Spotify or Apple Music. Here you can have the voice prompts. You can change the language. You can change the noise cancelling again, the name of them. This app opens up a lot more possibilities. Here we can see they're in discoverable mode, which they say ready to pair, and that's what that dark blue light plays in is. Okay, so here's a demonstration about what I said was wrong with the charging lead. You can see as I plug here to my Apple adapter, plug in the Bose charging lead, I drop the headphones and you can see that they just don't touch the ground and that they dangle and it's not very good. Battery 80%. Connected to Harry's iPhone.